Hello there, Tita here back in for another video and we have Beatrix today built up as usual and we have our boy Arden here finally with full spheres thanks to Vanille Sphere and we are just going in, we are just going in now this boss isn't that bad if you have the tools to do it but it can be a bit annoying if you really don't have the characters for it. I honestly wanted to do this without Beatrix, but whenever they get like full buffs, you'll see what I mean later. But whenever they get their full buffs, that means they get a region. And the a region is really problematic, which is really annoying. Also, Gladio's here for some extra protection and off-turn damage, and he's gonna help choose the fight so much. Ouch. Look at this. Heaven's might. But, we got the girl Beatrix here, so don't have to worry about it really much. So let me show you what Beatrix is all about. So... Mm, yeah, I'll use it. <laughs> so she flips her gear, and boom, all the buffs gone. Which is really great, honestly. All the buffs are gone, she gives battery, and there's a new debuff here that has like a sap effect. Plus, she takes up a follow up that gives more battery and removes a buff, which is really cool. Now. I do think there's a lot of problems with this, considering Beatrix's 8 free region is still not framed. And I think that's really annoying, because her buffs can easily, easily get knocked off, and you want that healing, which is really, really bad. But, as you can see, the brave reduction isn't so bad in this chaos fight. Thankfully, we do have a lot of auras on the scene, but Beatrix and Gladio is like really, really great. Oh, did you like the buff? Mm, too bad. <laughs> Arden with, with the new spear is so great. It's kind of the only spear he can use. Even later on, I really am disappointed he couldn't get a debuff spear. Because. He has an E spear slot, but not a lot of spears actually work with him because he needs to be either at full HP or he needs to be able to debuff, which he do he doesn't do. So eh. here we go. He just here. Follow up. Boom. Buff gone. And Beatrix is actually really great like that. That follow up is really great. Yowza! That damage right there is just amazing! Arden is still one of my favorite DPS to use over lightning. I mean, lightning is just, you know, broken, of course, but Arden, he is just the GOAT. I don't care what anyone says, he, he really is a GOAT. And we got a nice little Clim Hazard plus plus right here. Yeah, another issue with her is that her potencies are not the best. Not gonna lie there. But at least she's not locked down anymore. One issue I used to have with Beatrix is that whenever you want to use a Clim Hazard or you want to use like Thunder Slash. Sometimes you're getting targeted or you're gonna get broken by a crazy attack. Like, you really can't use her because you'll get broken and you might die. But with Beatrix here, with the follow-up, you don't have to worry about that. One thing I do wish Beatrix had, however, is I wish she had brave damage up on her debuff effect. But I imagine that she will get that on her LD board, which is why I really pull for her in the first place. Because those LD boards can really change the game. 
and I don't have to worry about pulling for her LD later. But, anyways, Thunder Slash, as you already see, has Splash Damage, which is really great. That's right, daddy -o. Battery me up! <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love all the battery and all the auras here on this team. Yeah, I'm at a Dawn Hammer here to get my buff back on. Because I think that's a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. With Gladio and BJ here, you cannot touch me. No matter what, this team cannot die. I mean, they raise their braves too much. We can die, but... I, you know what, you get the point, right? This team is pretty much unkillable. And that was a beautiful launch by the Beatrix herself. And we did it again. So now we gotta give it a debuff now. But you can easily do thanks to Beatrix's LD. Also, as you can see, the Lafinia Orb is here. At 69%, that's when the Finny Orb appears, which is not too bad. As long as you're careful about removing buffs when you take turns, it's not that bad. But, like I said earlier, it is a bit tricky if you don't have the characters for this. Or, you could be like me and have like a backup E-Spear instead of using Cloud. I'm sorry guys. I don't like Cloud. I really don't. I like him as a character and I don't like him as his kit in this game. I mean Cloud is not bad but hey Arden and Lightning just tells him no. <laughs> anyway I'm sorry guys. LD again. Make sure I got my counters ready. As you can see, we are not dying here. So, you may wonder why I have Gladio here. But basically, these enemies have a brave attack that has HP damage after it, and it's really, really annoying. So, either you make them not take a turn, or you have a take on your party to help you out with that. Because that, that really, really can get really upsetting when you try to do the fight. But out of nowhere, they use that attack and just kill you. Artist LD boards cannot come too soon. Huh? Attack, Gladio! And this is their recast attack. So, their recast attack will enter kill you if you don't have anything to stop it. In this case, we have Beatrix here, and Gladio here, and Arden here. So, either way, Beatrix is the only one that can actually die here. But yeah, that attack goes in last stand, and it's a true hit attack, so you cannot dodge it. So, you gotta be really, really careful with the recast. Also, you gotta be really, really careful with the Lafinia Orb here. Alright ladies, do your worst and then buff yourself, please. 
Thank you very much. And now we can do it to the Finny Orb. So, I'm gonna be smart here, and I'm gonna change Claw, that way I don't take the break on A. That way I can break both of them, and get the dispel. And watch this. And now, Arden will get rid of the buff, and now we're all good to go. This is why we have Arden as a backup, because... Beatrix alone cannot help you with the counters because she's really, really slow. That's why they made Vanille the Synergy and Cloud Synergy. Alright, Heaven's Might should come again. And it does. So, thankfully, they get pushed back. And we get to really dispel that with Beatrix. Yeah, Arden's where you guard is falling off, as usual, because he just uses up so many turns. Oh my god, the hair flip! It's just so great! I love it! The hair flip and the power of dispelling, that's really great. Thankfully, Art is not getting targeted, and I hope he doesn't get targeted, but we should be fine here. Ouch. That break is really annoying, but we can deal. And yeah, we're targeting Gladio again, which is really great. I don't have to worry about that, but this is the attack I was telling you about, guys. Oh, not the attack. Slash. Did they even do their attack this game? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that attack this game. Huh. Interesting. So, I think we should start preparing for the summon and the burst soon. I said I wasn't gonna burst, but I really want to. Yeah, Super Free K on the EX is really not that great. Oh, oh, watch this, guys. <laughs> uh, we got double dispel here. Fix the counters on the Lavinia Orb, which is really great. And this is why the E Spear is amazing on Arden, because he can just do that with Rising Phantom. Alright, it's showtime! So, we're gonna do this with just extra damage here, and we're gonna get this nice launch over here, which I will use Saint's Claw, get the battery. Even more battery and pool. We get a full lot, which is really great. What's this damage here? Uh, yeah, 324k. You gotta love it. You really, really gotta love it. Alright, Gladio, not bad, not bad. 60k? That's not that bad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna aura of darkness here. Also, 29% is the last threat hole for Heaven's Might, so we're gonna save the LD for then.
All right, we're almost there. And I know I said I wasn't gonna use the burst, or did I say I was gonna use the burst? Uh, but I really want to use the burst just because I can, and because I have it. Why not? All right, heaven might, and now Beatrice can dispel it instantly and feel the counters. It last here, Flip Beatrix. And now all the buffs are gone, and now the Lafinia Orb is filled up, which is really great. And now we burst. I always open up with Dark Tornado just because you can always get your free turn. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're gonna work right here just to get the extra battery from it. Now we all know that the potency of more darkness is really bad. with the Royal Retribution, the ultimate finisher! <laughs> 709k, not bad. Now, I really need to speed things up here because if the Funny Orb ticks down before I can fill it back up, I will be screwed over. Yeah, I need to get them a turn. ASAP. Oh, this is really dangerous. Using my last LV on Gladio. And I didn't want to push them back, but I'll do it anyways. I should be okay. Come on, come on, I gotta really hurry up. Seven Lafinia Orb counter left, which is not that great. And then it goes down by two. Oof, that's actually really scary. And unfortunately, Gladio had to freaking break it. So now I gotta use this. Alright, now we're safe from A, and now we gotta get rid of a buff on B now. So, <laughs> we gotta let B get a buff. Oh my god. Okay, that's the move I was talking about before. Absolute whirl. This boss will do that randomly and just AP attack you and just kill you out of nowhere. But anyways, let's solve this problem with the Lafinia orb. Thank you very much. So we're gonna send this last and hopefully yeah. No. I was gonna say, if the follow-up happened after, I would have been so scared. 
But thankfully, they programmed it to where Lafinia Orb goes after the follow-up attack and not after your initial attack, which is really great. I just realized that Beaches is gonna be synergy for the Zande one. I wonder if I should use her. Mm, I don't know. Anyways, let's try to finish this as soon as possible. Mm, I guess a holy nice safeguard here. And A is dead. B is scowling at us, which, you know, that's really rude. Thank you. Really, really rude and unacceptable. So we will be killing you as soon as possible. Boom. And time for the finisher. Arden, let's go. EX finisher style. And a good game. Gotcha. Like I said, this fight wasn't so bad. Yep. A bit tricky. A bit hectic, but not that bad. But perfect score, as usual, in my opinion, and yeah. And now, to show off my spheres and my artifacts, as usual, I got perfect arts on everybody. And I got Gladio new sphere. I'll put your sphere on Gladio. Just to give him more attack and more max brave. So I should be getting more battery now on Gladio than before when I had Gao's sphere on him, so that's amazing. Beatrix, as you can see, has Cypher Sphere just for some extra brave damage. On her Klim Hazard and Thunder Slash. Always great, by the way. And I have Celeste's Makeshift Sphere just for the extra battery. And Arden, as you know, I put Vanille's Sphere on him recently, which is really, really great. Anyways, before I go, I'm gonna show you another video of my pulls. Anyways, see you guys. Alright hey, folks, Kita here, back again for another video, and we have Beatrix. Yes, she is Bay, and I want him just because of that. Now, I'm pretty mixed on her kit. I think she's a pretty okay character and all, but I just don't like it in frame her HP region buff. And I do like her rework though, not gonna lie, her rework is pretty dope. But I don't know, I don't know. I hope that her LD boards help her a lot more, but who knows? Anyways, as you can see, we are poor. We have little resources. So let's just do our best here. Oh no. Oh no, this is a crap pull, isn't it? Oh no. This is bad. This is, I know it's bad. What the heck is that? Oh, 35. I haven't- It's been so long since I've seen her weapons. I literally forgot, because I remember she was a global first. And she was actually pretty good global first. She actually carried a lot. I know she's a- <laughs> Wow. Alright, we are back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways. We will get what we want. I hope, anyways. My look has been a disaster lately, to be honest. Oh, what's this? Is Beatrix being nice to her, or this is an EX that I don't need? I also would like another vanilla EX, by the way, as well, because I want her sphere for Arden. And I got it, thank you. 
and Steiner EX. Wow. I mean, I'm happy with the nail. <gasps> this is it! This is it! This is it! We got it, folks! We got it! I saw that double load! The double load is there! Mm -mm -mm. Matrix is nice to me, and I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Beatrix. Got your LD. And we can leave. Oh, and her EX too. Wow. Wow. That was a doozy. Alright then. So we're gonna use my 5k gems I have. We're gonna try to get Cloud's LD with this. Please. Back to back LD, anyone? No, no back-to-back -back LD. Sad, but true. Don't worry, I will try to get Cloud's LD as well. I guess, just to have it. Even though I'm not a fan of Cloud. I mean, oh well, yeah, I'm not a fan of Cloud that much. Zack, number one, always number one for Zack. But, yeah. Hey, I'm not a fan. But, I will try for Cloud because I do want an LD. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. We got Beatrix. My Bay is here. My waifu is here. And we got her. Thankfully. Anyways, see you guys.